Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, I would like to tell you the importance of uh, Kali Linux. So before going to this particular Kali Linux, uh, we know that the Linux environment is having more advantages over the Windows operating system because this Linux environment will be coming with an open source platform. and uh, more secure, less vulnerable, etc. Right? Because of these reasons, so uh, the people were switching towards this Linux environment than the Windows environment. And in that Linux environment, there are a different versions and why just prefer this Kali Linux for the cyber security concepts? So because particularly this Kali Linux comes with preloaded tools, preloaded tools which are used in information security tasks, information security tasks. So what, is the, what are these information security tasks? So these are nothing but like a penetration testing. So penetration testing means checking out for the vulnerabilities. Okay. And uh, similarly vulnerability management. And uh, Password attacks, similarly wireless attacks, computer forensics and reverse engineering etc etc right. So for all these information tasks there will be preloaded tools available in the Kali Linux. So this Kali Linux supports around more than 350 tools, 50 tools. Okay, related to this information security task. So this is the major reason why the hackers will choose this Kali Linux. Okay, so already in the previous session, uh, I have explained you how to install the Kali Linux in our virtual machine. So now I will show you the some of the tools which are already preloaded in this particular Kali Linux. Okay, so let's move on to the tool. Hello friends. So just now we have seen the importance of uh, Kali Linux and why the hackers will choose this Kali Linux to perform the cyber security attacks. And uh, now I will show you the tools which are preloaded with the Kali Linux environment. So in the previous session, we have already shown you how to install the Kali Linux in our uh, virtual machine. So I'll post the link in the description. So with the playlist uh, name as Ethical Hacking, so you can go through that to install a Kali Linux in the virtual machine. So after that, just log into the Kali Linux and here you can observe the menu. So here the applications, see. So move your mouse to the corner so you can get the tooltip, the applications. So click on the applications and these are the different applications or tools which are preloaded while installation of Kali Linux. See, these are the information gathering tools. So if you go with this information gathering, there are a lot of tools available to gather the information of the target systems, right? So with the help of these preloaded tools, we can gather the information. Similarly, vulnerability analysis. So in order to get the vulnerabilities, uh, you can use this application, web application analysis. So these are the several tools related to this web application analysis, database assessment tools, password attack tools, wireless attack tools, <coughs> reverse engineering, the exploitation tools, so in order to check out the vulnerabilities and uh, run the payloads and sniffing and spoofing tools, post exploitation, uh, forensics, reporting and uh, social engineering tools. See, these are all the different applications available and for each and every application there are many tools available. So all these are preloaded with the Kali Linux in environment. So apart from this, 
This Kali Linux also supports more than 350 plus tools as we have discussed just now. So we can also install those tools in this Kali Linux which are not available in this particular list. Right. So in our uh, further sessions, I will cover the basic uh, terminologies which will be used in ethical hacking. So because uh, uh, moving towards the different tools using all the, the, these tools, you must know the basic terminologies. So we will see the basic terminologies and then we will see some of the tools which are used for cyber security attacks. So in the further sessions, we will see all those things. And one important thing is, so this hacking is just for the educational purpose so don't try it on other machines so just try with your own machine itself so in the, in the further sessions we'll see more concepts related to the ethical hack right so let's stop here and uh, if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much